in this video we are going to be making this 3d stroke animation in after effects so let's get right into it so here we have a shape layer with a fill color on it and i have animated the x and y position so it looks something like this and if i just play it this is how the animation looks like nothing special all right the first thing we are going to do is we are going to change the fill color to a radial gradient and for the colors you have to have a lighter color a mid-tone and a darker shade just make sure the shading is correct and we are going to zoom in and adjust the corners so we have the highlighted part on the corner this is crucial for the lighting something like this all right okay so the next thing we are going to do is we are going to play the animation and we are going to somewhere around here and we are going to apply an echo effect so basically what this effect does is just repeats the shape layer over time so as you can see it just repeats right but for this effect what we are going to do is we are going to change the number of echoes to around 15 20 it depends on how much you, your computer can handle and for the time we are going to change it to minus 0.002 but one problem happening here is that everything is white and we need a nice shading on it so to fix that we are going to change the echo operator from add to composite in front so we can have our original shading back with the gradients all right this is how the animation looks like now it looks good but it doesn't look 3d right so to fix that what we are going to do is we are going to play with the scale properties so here is the position keyframes and we are going to time the scale keyframes to these position keyframes so go to the second keyframe and we are going to change it to something like 100 or something and again we are going to decrease it to around 30 you can just play around with the settings to get whatever you like okay this is looking fine but right now the stroke is looking like a blob it doesn't look uh, as appealing so to fix this uh, we are going to select all the keyframes easy is them and we are going to go to the place where the object is looping so if i click on this you can see the position path it is looping around and we are going to go to our graph editor and we are going to make a sharp curve right here don't make it too sharp and similar to this place the position is looping here as well so I make a sharp graph something like this and if i play the animation now as you can see it looks like it is moving towards the camera and then back to its original position okay so this is looking pretty good okay when you guys try something like this i have a tip for you so let's say if you want to change the shading of the object to do that what you can do is go to rotation and just change the rotation of the object and as you can see the shading is changing completely so you can customize it to your liking all right so the next thing in the animation we are going to do is i'm just going to disable the echo effect and i'm going to make a new polygon shape layer and i'm going to use path one and change the points to four and change the fill color to normal and you can choose whatever color you want for this i'm choosing red and just adjust the scale and position of the shape layer okay this is looking good and we are just going to repeat the process just make sure the size of the shape layers align with the 3d stroke animation that we have made meaning that the bottom star is going to be a bit bigger so for the next step i'm going to enable the echo effect and i'm going to go to its gradient field properties and i'm going to keyframe the colors adjust the keyframe position a bit okay so for the colors we are going to change the highlighted part in this case it is green we are going to change it to red something like this okay this is good and just dilate the keyframe out a bit all right so if i play the animation it's looking really cool and similar for this part i'm going to just keyframe it and go here and change the red color to blue something like this is good and i'm going to go to the third keyframe and i'm going to change the color to pink for this i'm going to change the darker base color to pink and this is just to add some variation so if i just play the whole thing as you can see the color changes when it reaches those star shape layers okay the next thing we are going to do is we are going to make a new black solid shape layer and we are going to add a four color gradient this is to make a background and i'm going to skip a little bit and show you the colors that i used so for color four i used this pale blue color and this is just gray and the others are black okay for the glue we are going to make a new adjustment layer and apply deep blue to it we are going to change the radius to around 400 exposure to 0.70 and we are going to change the threshold to 82 and smoothness to 100 so this is our 3d stroke animation done and after adding some camera movements this is how it looks like and if you want to know how to make these smooth camera animations uh, you can watch my previous tutorial on it 
and yeah if you found this tutorial helpful make sure to like and subscribe and all the project file and assets for this tutorial and the previous one are going to be available in my discord server and i'll see you with the next one